Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video again will have a timestamp because there are some updates. As far as where I am, I am in Warsaw, but before I tell you why I came here, let me show you what I just came across. This, it's Cadillac, I believe. Let me just slow down. Those of you who love cars, like my father did, probably will appreciate it. And let's go over here. So there is an information because this piece is pretty special. So here you have the info. Let me just stop right this. This is the Cadillac 355D Series 30. And it was the Cadillac of Marszałek Józef Piłsudski. So yeah, pretty cool, huh? I am in park, Łazienki Park, from the side that I never actually walked into. I'm in Warsaw, as I said. Uh, right behind this wall is the palace of Polish president, where you see the flag right there. So Andrzej Duda, this is his location. And then let me think where we're gonna go. So why I came, why I came here is to pick up, let me show you, to pick up what? To pick up this, my passport, with another Russian visa. That's right, I got another visa. So those of you who are interested in when I will be going there again, I can give you already the dates, the, the first trip that I will be taking, and this will be in February um, 14th, and I will be there for three weeks. So that's the vision. If you are interested in that, we're going to Russia. And today, guys, I have the articles I prepared for you actually yesterday because I was leaving really, really early this morning. Uh, four o'clock, 4 a.m. I had my train to Warsaw. So let's start with something that you would ask Polish citizens two years ago how they feel about Ukrainians, they will give you a completely different answer. Well, things have changed drastically because, let me just put my passport here away so I make sure it's in a safe place. Very important. Okay, so about relationships between Poland and Ukraine and how Polish citizens look at Ukraine at this very moment. Relations between Poland and Ukraine. Poles are extremely compliant. This is the brand new survey that was just done recently. Are you ready? Over 80% of people taking part in the survey, in the United Service, this is the name of, I believe, the company, I think, uh, for Virtualna Polska, it's a Polish website, believe that relations between Poland and Ukraine have deteriorated. 80%. You see? It took them two years, huh? Almost two years. Voters of all political persuasions agree on this issue. So it doesn't matter if they are pro law and justice or pro uh, Donald Tusk, they all agree. 80% of them. The studio asked whether the relations between Poland and Ukraine had changed as a result of two disputes over the import of grain and transport across the border. So those two topics, it's not just the grain, there are many other products that, they, that farmers had the same issue. By the way, have you seen guys, was it yesterday, the farmers in Berlin, the protests of those farmers? I think it was yesterday. I mean, pretty serious, huh? I don't know if they are able to accomplish anything, but let me continue with this. Respondents agree that those were the main, ca the main reasons, with 83% believing that relations have deteriorated and the majority, 427 believing that the deterioration, I, I probably mispronounce again, deterioration is significant. So 427 
pretty much they say it's like for real is bad. 12.9, so almost 13% of respondents believed that relationships have not changed. And 1.5 believe that they are uh, improved. So this 1.5 either hypnotize or drinking some Kool-Aid from United States. I don't know where they live in some strange reality. But this is how it looks like. 80% of people like not not uh, not feeling good about this relationship. You see, took them some time. Now the first uh, task for Tusk. This is what I'm gonna read you. Let me see. Is this this one? Yes. Okay. So we have another survey. This is about the new government uh, of new slash old Prime Minister Donald Tusk and the latest poll. So the new government led by Donald Tusk should first deal with the implementations of electoral program promises. You remember those 100 promises I've mentioned to you several videos ago? I haven't read you all of them, but they promised 100 uh, different things to accomplish. And according to this poll, the polls uh, are the most interested in how this new government is going to deliver, um, fulfill those promises, because they said 100 promises for 100 days, right? The clock is ticking. So the polls pointed out to the uh, importance of relations with the European Union. This is their key point here. And the so two topics. So the relationships with EU is the number one what majority of those uh, participating in survey in that poll said. And the second topic that is the most important for them is the accountability of law and justice activists. So 56.3% of respondents indicated the implementation of electoral program promises as the most important. 36.8% want Polish relations with the European Union to be improved, 36.8. And 21.8% want law and justice politicians to be held accountable. So like Kaczyński, Duda, Morawiecki, those people. And 8.8% .8 want to verify and possibly withdraw from the recent decisions of Mateusz Morawiecki, well, Pinocchio. That's never gonna change. Pinocchio is always Pinocchio. So let's walk down there because I never been there. And the last article, I might actually put this in the title of this video as well, is about Hamas. And it says, is there a Hamas weapons depot in Poland? Media in Germany, uh, investiga investigators are investigating. So I understand this was actually taken from German uh, media and it was reposted on Polish websites because they are investigating in Germany if Hamas has any weapons in Poland, if they are using Poland for whatever they intend to. Meanwhile, I want to show you the view because why not? We are here. so. You can just have something else beside the news. Beautiful, huh? Okay. Shall we go there? Yeah, let's go there. Okay, so in Germany, the Netherlands and Denmark, people suspected of links to the terrorist organization Hamas have been detained for allegedly, uh, allegedly planning attacks on Jewish centers. European investigators, according to media reports from across the Oder, Odra River, that's the river that is actually in my hometown, my hometown is by Odra River, in German Oder River, suspects that the extremist weapons depot is located in Poland. So they have like a warehouse, storage, something like that, I don't know. Maybe it's just a fake news, who knows. Earlier this weekend, the German prosecutor's office in Karlsruhe announced the 
the tension in Berlin of three suspects of belonging to the terrorist organization, Hamas, and planning an attack on Jewish centers in Europe. We are coming closer to this building. So let's see, let's see. Jewish centers in Europe as part of a joint police operation arrests of extreme uh, Islamists also took place in Rotterdam and Copenhagen. An international investigation into the matter is ongoing and the media from across the other river are uh, reporting some new information. Okay, one more page. The German newspaper Tagespiel, Tagespiel, I think you say, reveals that two Lebanese and an Egyptian uh, were arrested in Berlin and were part of the so-called Hamas sleeper cell and were responsible for the storage of weapons that were to be used to attack Jewish centers and institutions in Europe. Sometimes my handwriting is really off, so sorry guys, I'm not flowing with the read really nicely. Currently, investigators are checking whether the Hamas weapons depot is located in Poland. The Federal Office for the Proce uh, Protection of the Constitution estimates that Hamas has 450 supporters across Germany and a much larger circle of sympathizers um, Reads to mobilize, ready to mobilize if necessary. 450 supporters across Germany and a much larger circle of sympathizers ready to mobilize if necessary. So, by the way, that's all I have for you behind me. This is where Duda resides. You see, right there, this is Presidential Palace. And it's a pretty beautiful day actually. Even though it's not sunny, it's very, very nice. I'm, uh, I'm going to leave you with this, guys. Uh, tonight I might come back here to this park because they have, as I've heard, incredible light shows. Christmas, holiday, season, uh, light shows. And I will record those, put on my Instagram for you and in my local community. So please follow me there, join me there. Also some pictures from Warsaw. I will be here one more day and maybe tomorrow I will create another video. We see how things go. Thank you so much for watching. All the links, actually one link, one link to this Hamas article you find down below this video. And uh, make sure to join my mailing list as well, just in case. Like I said, follow me on Instagram, join my mailing list. I'm repeating myself, locals. That's it. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Have a great day. Lots of love. And remember, we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity. Bye, everyone.